No, I wanted you to get this guy. Oh, I still have a bomb thrower. That's good. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Right to the groin. Like always. Sorry. What's up, guys? We're back today with Abs, and our first episode level is going to be Defend the Captain. And I don't think our horde of halflings are going to help the captain. Um, maybe our horde of halflings are going to help the captain. Why do I use the halflings? They always... Either win in a weird way that I don't think is possible, or they completely fail in the most epic ways. Maybe I should have actually tried to plan this out, because I have like a mountain of halflings right now. I don't even know who is still alive in that group, besides the swarm of halflings. I guess we're not starting here today. The next one is called Defend the Queen. So we have a bunch of pirates defending their pirate queen. So I'm thinking if we just put in a, like a legion of close range units and then put a musketer in the back over there, a musketer and a couple archers up on that boat, another musketer and a couple more archers and musketers on that boat. I feel like we could just pick them off one by one while our forces kind of just distract them. So let's see how that runs out for me. So we did, we did get the dog pile in there. I do still have musketers and archers up top. As long as they hit the enemy forces and not our forces. The queen throws bombs. I saw that. And my archers aren't doing much of anything. So hopefully my musketers can get a couple shots in there. Perfect musketers right when I needed you. You just need a little bit of range to take out a queen. I don't know. So now we get to play the pirates and we now have to fight through all the other factions. So of course we're starting off with a small tribe. And I kind of want to see what the harpooners do. So I got a couple of them in there. So they just harpoon and rip themselves with the enemy. Okay, they, they don't do much against that many forces, but I just wanted to see. All right, let's just throw some guns at the problem. So we got our flint locks, who are the guys who shoot two guns once, and then they go in for melee. We got our guy in the barrel, I forgot what his name was, with guns that knock themselves on their butts. We have our bomb throwers, who I was kind of hoping would be throwing more bombs and making a little bit more chaos. And then our harpooners. Well, that worked. I'm extremely curious on how far bomb throwers actually throw bombs. So let's kind of just spread a couple of them out. And see what happens. So they, oh, they just stand there and just hug them. That is so chaotic. Can they throw further than our spear throwers can throw? The answer is no. Okay, cool. I just, just, just testing some stuff. All right, so let's get, get a bomb thrower in there. Just to take some fire. Got some gunners. Um, the blunder busters, I believe, are the guys in the barrels with the big guns. Pretty much when they shoot their gun, they knock themselves on their butts. So they're not that much of a help. Because every time they shoot, they fall down and have to get back up. And then I have the cannon in the background just to kind of help a little bit, but I don't think the cannon's working all that much because you can only pick off like one target at a time. There is another guy alive over there. Maybe the cannon's helping? Like these guys are just spear fodder for the cannon to slowly pick them off. I was not expecting that one to end that way. So this next one is called Defend the Bridge, and we're going up against the farming faction now. So what if we just kind of have a bunch of stuff that can blow the bridge up? We still need to defend the bridge if there is no bridge. Oh, they have potion sellers. I didn't think about potion sellers. 
and the crow in the background. Mr. Cannon, can you just take out the crow in the back? The scarecrow? No, I wanted you to get this guy. Oh, I still have a bomb thrower. That's good. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Right to the groin. Like always. Sorry. So this one is called Run Over Them. So we have our Harbingers and then our Bob Ross in the background. And ma'am, is there something wrong with your head? No, I'm just tired today. Okay, I thought you had like a weird misformed head. So what I was thinking was we just throw some of our guns at them. And our Pirate Queen. I kind of want to see what the Pirate Queen does on a small group. So um, let's give this a try. I don't know how well it's going to do. So as long as we can get some of those Harbingers out of the way, I feel like the Bob Rosses won't be much of a problem. Probably will be a problem for the bomb throwers because they move so slow. But the Pirate Queen can just take out a group. She's dual wielding. She has her sword stuck between her legs. She throws bombs. I still have a bomb thrower. Did you just throw an apple at my queen? How dare you? She just took out both of them with one swing. Okay, Mr. Bob Ross, I need you to just kind of sit still for two seconds so my queen can punch you square in the jaw. Yes, thank you. And now we're up against the knights, and this one is called Will Not Make Us Walk the Planks. So my idea was apparently to shoot that guy in the space because he didn't want to walk the planks. Um, so I was kind of hoping to get enough of them just to kind of like fall off the edge here and make them walk the plank. But that's not really working the way I wanted it to. And, ow, that looked like it might have hurt. Okay, so we just have archers left. That guy's walking backwards and with his butt at the enemy. They do do pretty good at protecting against like arrows and spears and stuff with that barrel armor. I just don't know how long they can hold off for. I would... Is this gonna work? Okay, I think we're down to one on two, which is not good odds. Okay, one on one. Who's gonna shoot first? Oh, you missed. I still don't know how those wins work, but they work. So this one is called Kings You. This one is called Kings Unites. We got three kings that look like they joined forces to take out this pirate invasion. And they brought two catapults and a couple archers. So let's see how our pirate queens uniting handle this force. So we got two pirate queens, a harpooner, uh, some of our guys with guns, lots of guys with guns, and some bomb throwers. And those ones are just standing at a stalemate over there. That was weird. I was kind of hoping my bomb throwers would have taken out most of the archers. I don't think that worked the way I wanted it to. But my queens are doing pretty good. As long as they don't get completely crumbled by the catapult or blow themselves up I didn't think about that because they only really dodge an attack when they throw the bombs when it's their attack they don't dodge another queen's bombs okay so how about instead of sending two queens we send a queen and a captain a few more bomb throwers an extra harpooner and uh, some more guns so, so far, we've made it to the catapult on the one side. We did get taken out. That's not good. My queen is fighting a king with a hand behind her back and kicked him in the face. Hello. Um, are you going after the harpoon now? Please and thank you. That would be good and nice. How's that king over? Th the king, the captain. The captain died, but we only have harpoons left, so this should be... Kind of easy for you, as long as you don't take a catapult straight to the face. Okay, apparently you can take a catapult straight to the face. That's good to know. Um, are you gonna get there in time? Why do you keep 
hiding your sword behind your butt and then doing a hip check to attack. I don't get it, but if it works, it works. All right, so next on our story of conquest, we have snakes and horns, which of course they have snake archers and a minotaur and some shields and some pointy sticks. So we're gonna throw some more guns at them, a couple bomb throwers, and then some more guns and our pirate queen, because hopefully when they start to shoot the snakes and the snakes start to do their own thing, the queen can just drop her bombs and blow them up and then they'd be gone. So hopefully this works. Throw the bombs straight into the horde. Not as many bombs as I wanted into that horde, but that does kind of help. The queen is took out the minotaur. Nice. We do have snakes. We do have bombs flying everywhere. We have more bombs flying everywhere. Okay, the queen does not give a rat's butt about those snakes. She is going straight for the source and smothering them in her cleavage. You saw that, right? Okay, now you should probably worry about the snakes. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. And just kicks to the face and sword to the face. I think that was a sword. To, I think it was the hilt to the face, but we'll just, we'll just call that the sword. So this one might not be ending well for me. It is, it is called bolts and arrows, I believe, because we have the ballistas in the background and we have Zeus. So Zeus can just chain enemies and take them out. And the ballistas can literally kill anything as long as they make contact. So I was kind of hoping my guns would deal with Zeus. My bomb throwers would deal with his legion. And my cannons would survive long enough to get in close enough to the ballistas to take them out. It kind of went that way, not really went that way. I don't know where my captain went. He is somewhere on this board. He went flying. Um, I don't know how that one worked. Have I been on this map before? This looks new. Does that mean there's a secret unit here? But I didn't find any secret units, but I did find this bomber and he ended way the heck over here. So I haven't found the captain yet. I think he might be off the board though. Moving in. Which now means we are now fighting the um, Viking faction. And this one is called Pillage This. So I'm going to assume they don't like being attacked by pirates because technically they are kind of like pirates themselves. So um, I got our kind of normal layout, a lot of guns, some bomb throwers. I got a queen and two harpooners in there. I was trying to see if the harpooners could get the Jarls and kind of like, you know, take them out of the fight a little bit does not look like that happened for me. It looks like we have a Jarl, some Valkyries, I was going to call them Harpies, and two Jarls that my queen is desperately trying to fight. And she just took the hilt of that axe to the head by a backflipping Jarl. I don't think she was ready for that. Not one bit. Maybe if instead of harpooners, we give her a captain for support. I mean, he does have a gun and a sword. Well, maybe that'll help out a little bit more. Did you already take out a Jarl? Oh no, they both went for the captain. Okay, well that does help my queen out a little bit. So we have a... Uh, two Jarls, four Valkyries, a queen, and one of my bluster guys. And my queen missed with all of those bombs, so that doesn't help. She keeps taking the hilt to the head, man. You're gonna end this with a concussion. Or a spinning sword attack to that guy's face. That works. But you know what, guys? I think we're gonna call it there for today. And we'll come back next time with Arrow of Arrows. And we're gonna send our line of bombs at them. But if you like this video, make sure you leave a like on it. If you're not a subscriber and you like watching my stuff, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you know when I upload more videos like this. And if there's any games you want to see me play, leave them down in the comments and I will try to get to them when I have some free time. But until next time, guys, please, I will use. I have a bunch of frozen flying.
bombers? Why are they flying? I don't know, but you know what I do see? I see a big sword in the background. Are you a secret weapon? No, it's not. Can I not? Aw. Well, I thought I found a secret weapon, but apparently not. Next. Bye, guys. Wolf views.